see. First time I wore this was here. I noticed that too. I was like, that was from the what's up hole. Yeah, and it's so cute. And I got it off of Depop for like $30. Literally. Okay, just show you to the people. This for the vlog as well, so. There you go, there you go. Turn around, yes. You like that? What style did you book today? Today I booked the, um... <laughs> Think about it. Today. I booked the 28 inch soft locks in color 1B. She's just a 1B because gal. I am a 1B gal, but we did branch out with color last time. We did. And Which we I'll came back to the black just because it's, it's black. It's like, be for real. We love that. We so. do. Bye. <laughs> the walk off camera is crazy. Okay, so my schedule took a change because I was supposed to do the first person you saw, that was um, Bells. Uh, that was one of my friends and we did her hair and then I was supposed to do my other friend's hair Chris but Chris isn't feeling well so we decided to reschedule for Monday which means I now have to do my hair today and I didn't plan to do my hair today which I kind of I wish I had already pre-parted my hair just so I could get a head start but I didn't so now I gotta do my hair today and I'm just like I don't want to do my hair but I also don't feel like paying to get it done but I'm just like suck it up and just do your freaking hair so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I'm hoping I do a good amount because I do have church tomorrow morning and I need to go to church so I'm hoping I at least complete a decent amount to where um I'm hoping I do a decent amount to where I can just like tie a scarf and it doesn't look too obvious that my hair is like halfway done that's what I'm hoping for, but we shall see. And I don't think I told you guys what style I'm doing. You'll see as I go. And I'll show you guys how I do my hair because I get that question asked a lot and it's honestly a hot mess. That's why I don't record it often because it's like, it's not a cute process at all. And I'm sore and sometimes I do like five braids and I'm like, I'm gonna go take a nap. And I can't do that today because I gotta get it done. At least, I feel like I need to get at least like and I also work from the back up. I don't go front back because I need to like see. So I feel like I need to get at least like here. I'm doing small, which is about like seven rolls from here to here and then three down here. I'm hoping to at least do eight. Yikes. I'm hoping to at least do eight rolls today. So even if I have two, it's not that obvious. I'll tie a scarf and I'll go by my day. Fingers crossed, we shall see. So I went to go trim my hair because I was in like dire need of a trim like really, really bad. And I am doing Bohemian Knotless. And I just have to show you guys something because this is why like bundles are just so, so me and my friends, so of course I'm doing Bohemian Knotless. So I just need a longer part. And you know how bundle come, like um hair companies, they always have those like little short strands. So it's like really 22 inches, but a good portion is probably like 16 to 18 and then as it gets to the bottom it's like really really thin so we got the hair for three bundles which is over there but this is the amount of short hair look at that this is the amount of short hair that came out and i just feel like this is just such a waste of money so if you know any brands that honestly sell like just hair that they've already that it's not wefted for like bohemian knotless or like tree braids and all that stuff please comment down below because that's a lot of hair that's a lot of hair and this is I mean this is what's left it's still a good chunk this is two bundles but it's, as we're just removing I feel like I'm just like dang there's just money going down the drain but hey it is what it is I did give myself a well needed trim though my ends were literally dead 
and I'm gonna because I want to start taking better care of my hair ironic a hairstylist who doesn't take care of her hair but I don't anyway I gotta go pre part and this is usually the most fun part okay so I'm in the bathroom this is usually where I do my hair and all and I have a mirror in front of me and behind me this setup is very very weird but I always just start with my middle part this part is no fun <laughs> I gotta make sure it's straight uh there you go I think that's good and I also wasn't sure if I wanted to do small or like minis I kind of want to do minis because I just love the sizes of minis I don't think I have time for minis so I'm just gonna do small but I'm gonna make the box smaller so it will be like an in between between a small and a minis you know what I think this is the straightest I've ever done my part on like the second or third try that's crazy I'm here <laughs> Y'all might get blocked a little bit. Ugh. No, that's not right. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Let's see. Okay, I think that's good. Actually, not really. Is that straight? Y'all can see more than I am right now. I don't even know if that's... You can see more than I can right now. I don't even know if that's straight. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I'm supposed to look this way. That makes sense. I was like, something's off. I feel like this part is like super boring. So I'm just going to go do this part off camera. But pretty much my two mirrors, those are my keys to parting. I've seen people do it with a FaceTime. But my, my MacBook, the quality on that camera is like, if there's a if there's a resolution lower than 480p, that's what it is. My arms are tired already. It's an arm workout. Boy, oh boy. I'll be back in a little bit. My arms are tired. People often, first I look absolutely crazy, which I don't know why I'm so comfortable looking a little, why I'm so comfortable looking a little raggedy on here, but I'm in the process of doing my hair. My whole point is, people often ask me why it takes me so long to do my hair. This is why. All I did was pre-parting. That took me like, what, 30, 45 minutes? It's time for food now. I take forever to do my hair because I would do a few, especially if I'm not in like a rush rush, even though today I am in a rush. I would do a few and then I would go take a break because I'm tired and I'm not going nowhere. So that's usually what I do. I'm just having a chicken, a chicken salad. <laughs> 81st Deli, superior. Yeah, I'm just having a chicken salad right now because I haven't had lunch today, so yeah. And of course the best dressing ever, Thousand Island. I used to be a heavy ranch person with dressing, but I've switched sides to Thousand Island and Thousand Island we just get along really well, really, really well. Mm. And I almost didn't add, I almost didn't add the chicken because the chicken was tasting like chicken. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But yeah, the taste, the chicken was tasting very, very chickeny. And I was just like, ugh. So I kind of heated up in the microwave a little bit longer just so it could like get a bit more dry and not as chicken. I don't know how to explain it properly, but I feel like if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about when chicken tastes like chicken. But that's all. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat my salad and then I'll get back to doing my hair. And I spilled Thousand Island on the floor, so that sucks. Pardon the way I look, but I am three rows in and I really, really, really wanna go take like a fat nap. But if I need to at least make it to church tomorrow, I need to go at least like four, ideally five, but four rows up. My bed is calling my name. So I don't know if I should just go take a quick nap right now. It's 7.05. I don't know if I should just go take a quick little two hour nap, wake up again around like 9.30 and then power through for another like 9.30, If I go for another like seven hours, I think, I think and I hope I should be good. 
because I think that's what I'm gonna do because I'm really really I'm tired yeah I'm tired. so I think that's what I'm gonna do so far it's coming along I don't know if you guys can see but there's supposed to be a hint of a color there because I didn't want just like a plain black and I'm adding a lot more bohemian hair than I normally will. And I'm loving the look so far because I want it to be like very, very curly. Almost like a half sewing, half braid type of look. But I'm going to go lay some hair on the rack and I'm going to go take a nap because I'm, I'm tired. Guys, I'm still braiding. And I'm just on the second. <laughs> I'm just on the second row up. I still have five to go and... I'm exhausted. Ugh, probably shouldn't have wiped my face like that, but I'm so tired. And I think I'm about to go. I was hoping I could do more and then go take a nap. But at this point, I'm going to do maybe like this row and maybe the row above, I think. And I'm trying to start to church because I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired and I don't play about my sleep. I need my, <laughs> I need my bed right now. I love my sleep, so I have, I did four, I have 13, I have 13 left on this row to do, and I'm hoping the row above is only like 17 to 18, 18 at most. I even started part of bigger because I'm like, I don't have time for this. Oh my gosh, I'll surely hope to finish the braids a lot sooner, but... I think in combination of being tired, maybe I should go, get, should I get an energy drink? I think I'm gonna go get my energy drink, just so. But then again, I won't be able to go to sleep. And that means when I go to church, I'll be up from 12, up until however late I'm up tonight, which not fun, so. Maybe not now. I'm gonna finish what I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna go to bed and then I'm gonna do the energy drink. But yeah, I'm not getting my hair done tonight, sadly. It's snack time. I finished that other roll that I was talking about. I'm now on the third roll. This row has 17 braids. And it's like, what time is it? It's 4.37 a.m. I wanna go sleep, but I'm not like tired, tired of sleep. So I'm just gonna finish this roll. And then what am I gonna do? I am gonna go to sleep and then I'll go to church. These Trader Joe bao buns, not the Philly cheesesteak one, but specifically the Chinese bao buns, they're so good. Again, the Asian food boy night that I had with my friends, I made this. Well, I didn't make it, but I warmed it up <laughs> there for there. And it was really, really good, so yeah. Hi, so it's Sunday right now, and I have to get ready for church. And as you can tell, I didn't finish. There's a lot of background noise going on. My parents are getting ready as well, too. But I've just decided to like flat twist the top down just so it lays a bit flatter. And I'll just tie a scarf on the whole thing. Initially, I was gonna aim for like a little bun, but there's too much not done for it to look like just a little style. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tie a whole scarf on it. But I have to flat twist this back portion first. I didn't end up taking the energy drink yesterday because I was like just power through because I still wanted to go to bed. But I definitely think I need it for this morning. I also need to get an extra pack of hair because the hair that I have left will definitely not be enough. Yeah, even the bundles, shockingly enough, I had to use like three bundles of hair because like I explained earlier when I was just like pulling, when I was like pulling the little ah, short pieces out, it was just way too many short pieces. So originally I bought two bundles, but that's definitely, that was definitely not looking like enough. So I had to use three bundles. Actually three and a half. Yeah, because I have some on the rack right here. This is like the major bundle that I actually bought and dyed. And this is what I'm going to use for like the actual curly pieces on the braid. So I want to preserve this. 
and then I had to use the third bundle for the ends in the back and then this is the fourth bundle that I'm now using for the ends because I didn't want to just waste this on not waste this but like I don't want to use this on the ends and then I wouldn't have enough because I I prefer if I have the dyed hair as the curly pieces like sticking out and then this hair that's not dyed as the ends even though I wanted it honestly all the same color but I'm not gonna win I might try and go back and dye it later that's a lie I'm not doing that oh my days oh my days Oh my and I decided to combine day two and three of vlogmas because I did my hair for most of it and that's just boring so I'm just gonna combine day two which is yesterday and then day three which is today my brother ruined my protein bar but let's get ready Okay, so my makeup is all done and I actually think I'm gonna film this video for you guys separately because it's been my like latest base routine, which um what's it called? This is not even the best it's a look, but recently like when I actually take my time, it actually looks so good. I've added two new products that I think that's what's doing it. <laughs> and I think that's what's um been like helping my routine. And my base has been looking very, very smooth. Right now, I'm just kind of curling these little front pieces because I'm gonna like do some. Okay, I'm gonna do some. You hear my brother screaming? Um, I'm just gonna do my edges really quick because I feel like by the time I tie the scarf, it'll just look like my. I just almost grabbed my hand. It'll just look like my natural hair is in a low button. That's the... Ah! What am I even gripping? I think I braided all that part up. I left this edge control open and it looks like creepy. And I hate that. What is it? Not trypophobia, but them little spots. They make my skin crawl. Oh. I'm gonna go with this. Um, Cause this edge control, although this kid one, I heard a lot of good reviews about it, but honestly, I just think my edges, they repel every type of edge control, honestly. This is probably gonna last, I need to see. This is probably gonna last 30 minutes max, even with it being straightened. So, hey, it's a thought that Yeah, it's legit already turned into grease, but I'm gonna go in with this Ebon spray and that show you know. Oh, hold it and put. Don't drip on makeup. Where's the scarf? It's dripping. But I am so late for church right now. It is. Good. It's currently like nine. It's nine twenty-four. Church starts at nine thirty. No, it doesn't. Church starts at ten. But usually, ow. I ideally wanted to leave in six minutes, but that's not looking possible. I'm just gonna leave the best setting for the Oh, <laughs> this is what happens when you're running so late. Body butter, Bath and Body Works, this their scent. I'm used to work at Bath and Body Works, so I feel like subconsciously I'm still like a salesperson for Bath and Body Works. That's why I did their whole candle thing, but 
the smell is so good and their body butter they're perfect for winter because it's like the thicker and now just for my standard jewelry i always i was going with this green ring that i got in mexico my nails still aren't done and then these two that i got from amazon they're just like cute little dainty pieces this ring i've it's been a journey with this ring i've lost it i found it i've lost it i found it but we're back together again guess watch amazon necklace because the k necklace that i always wear is kind of absorbed in this turtleneck which i don't think this one will show either yeah i'm not wearing a necklace i got my earrings in and perfume my favorite combo of life perfume that you need. um this combo you need to try burberry her and kaoli vanilla these two combinations this is like a vanilla scent and then this is what is burberry her i don't know how to describe it she's like fruity fruity fresh but i don't know but it's so feminine and this is just that like and i'm not even a sweet vanilla type of person but this vanilla is good and i just feel like when i mix both of them up it just smells like, like yummy like somebody wants to like, just like eat you up that's just that's just how the best way i can explain it but i love these two scents of course <coughs> This Kaoli <coughs> is strong. It does burn my nostril hairs just a little bit. Oh, and then right beside it, I kind of just go with the Burberry hair. I do spray quite a bit because I don't know if it's, what is it called, nose blindness that I can't smell my perfume as often. Or they just fade quickly, but I like to spray a lot just to kind of get the scent. New Jersey winter is in full effect, so the docks are back out. Jeez. Yeah. These are the platforms, by the way. I really, really love these. And honestly, I was very, very skeptical about these. Not skeptical, but I was like, do I really want to pay $20 for these? But these are like my best purchase. I am just so... Duh, 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 duh. But, and then the trench coat, which I need to let roll. Where's my let roll? <laughs> Also, the reason why I picked this lotion is because I realized it layers really well. What's her name? I think Fumi Monet on TikTok. She talks a lot about like layer and fumes and all that. The TikTok, I don't want to call them girlies, the TikTok women. They teach you all about perfume. Yeah, I need to go dry clean this coat because some of this one is just not coming off. Imagine if my hair was on, how cute this whole fit will be. It's a simple outfit, but it would look, it would have looked really, really Let's do an unveiling. It's just so sad, even though it laid flat, but like, I already, it's already coming up already. My edges just don't, I don't know what it is. They just don't like to stay down. Let me put my hair, it's coming along, yeah. I'm gonna put it in a low bun really quick. What time is it? It's 9.30. <laughs> I need to leave. Cause I'm also not gonna get a parking spot and I'm leaving early. So I need to park where I need to park. Cause I need to make sure I'm able to leave without being blocked in. So fingers crossed. This is my brother's scarf, by the way. I stole it from him because he doesn't use it. And then every now and then he harasses me about it. He goes, oh, why are you wearing my scarf? I'm like, you don't wear it. So I took it. Okay, this is actually going to come out looking cute. I truly, truly just hope my edges stay down. Because that will be... Okay, let me tie it first. And now, let's go. Now my fear is honestly, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like... You know how sometimes you just literally how I was doing my makeup and the scarf kept slipping off? I truly hope it doesn't do that and embarrass me in church because that would not be cute at all. So let me just tuck this behind my ear because I feel like, and I don't even think I have bobby pins, but um, this is kind of a look. It is what it is. There's nothing I could do. <laughs> Let's go to outfit. Little black sweaters and jeans from 
You want to show the TV your outfit? Huh? Say hi. Sorry. Good fit. So we got the Red Bull kit going on here. It's free merch, by the way. We got this dog chain, very fire. Boohoo Man, the shirt. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the pants is H&M. Mm -hmm. the, the shoes is Vans. Listen, y'all. Y'all need to pay a lot of money for good fit. This shit sure. right here is like $40. Mm -hmm. And I'm presentable. So very presentable. That. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> anyway, that's my outfit. My jeans are from Abercrombie and my shoes are the Docs. Oh, and my trench coat is from Zara Bag Amazon. I have I'm on the second to last row I have okay, that's fine I have 14 braids on that row and I think probably about 12 or 13 here so that's 28 27 ish I think about 27 honestly and then I'll be done also I made some noodles which side note I don't know if anybody else does this but sometimes I feel like I eat not because I'm hungry but because it feels like that's what I'm supposed to do. Like, I wasn't hungry when I made these noodles. But I just felt like it's, like, nighttime, so you should eat, even though I wasn't hungry. Which I feel like is not good. Because I te shouldn't you technically eat only when you're hungry? Yeah, I don't know. But I made some indomie. It's really good. And then... I really wanted to make this like a fun little chit chat, do my hair with me, but I don't know what it is, but I'm tired. And I just, I'm just trying to like breeze through this hair process. So this is probably like the most boring. <laughs> That's why I'm combining day two and three. It's probably going to be the most like boring vlog, but I promise on the other days it will get better, but it's just doing my hair is not fun. And honestly, going into the new year, I'm like, maybe I should start looking into other people doing my own hair. 2022, I've been doing my own hair since 20. 14 yeah so i feel like that would be a big adjustment to go and go get it done by somebody else especially since i know what i like and i'm very specific however i want to be in and out like my clients are i want to go set a day get my hair done and then dip out so i finished pre-parting the top section i have 14 braids left to go and i'm gonna go take my nap what is number two today yeah i took a nap after church <laughs> before i started these top two break this top two three rows and now I'm gonna go take my second nap. And then I'll come back at like, it's 11.43, I'll probably come back around like 2.30. It's five, basically 5.30. So, I guess I'm getting my day started early. Yeah, so, um, my plan was to do 2.30 to 4.30 for hair, go back to sleep, wake up at 6.30, and then go to the gym from around like, 6:45 ish to about 7:30, but plans have changed. But yeah, I'm not gonna bore you guys with this part. I just wanted to update you guys because I didn't even hear my alarm. Like it wasn't even like I kind of snoozed it, and then it was like, oh crap, it's like 5:30. No, I didn't hear it, and I didn't put it underneath my bed either. I literally put it like off to the side. It's like let me hear. I double checked. No, I was knocked out. <laughs> I was long, not long gone, but yeah, I was knocked out. I didn't even hear that alarm. I woke up, I saw 517. I was like, well, it is what it is. I'm like, that's what time God wanted me to wake up. That's what time I'm waking up, I guess. But yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys at this part. I'm going to go finish my hair now. I made it. I'm on the very last braid. I can't believe I'm finally here. This feels like an Oscar worthy moment right now. But I finally made it to the end. I'm boiling the hot water, which should be done any moment now. And then I'm just going to quickly dip it and then... But yeah, this is pretty much the end of this walk. Nothing crazy happening. This is what happens when I do my hair. I'm usually just at home for two days straight, just braiding. So my hair looks cute. So there's that. My hair looks cute. Mama, I made it. Oof. Boy, oh boy. All done. It has a lot of curly hair in it. Yeah. Let me go dip this really quick and then I'm gonna add some mousse. 
Yeah, I like it. I like it. This part like still scares me after all these years of doing the hot water thing. Because my cousin burned herself when we were younger. Until today. That's like, ah. Yo. What is going on with my arm? Our bodies just be acting like whatever sometimes. So I just fold it in half. And then, and do a little dip dip. Oh my gosh, where's my towel? Ah. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god. Oh, the black hair dye came out. Ah, that's funny. The water is literally black. Yeah, all the black hair dye came out. Uh. But there's just something going on right now. I feel like everyone is just... The moment I added the hot water, that flattened it out a lot. And now, time to go in with a copious and copious amount of mousse. Really gonna cook these eggs. And a little bit of water. That just feels like the right thing to do. Feels like four bundles. <laughs> feels like four bundles. Yeah. Okay. And now, same thing on this side. Look how flat one side is already. Crazy. I feel like with the curly hair all puffy, it looks like so full, and then you add a little mousse to it, and it just softens down all the flat parts of the curly hair. Also, there's definitely still a, some form of what's it called? the actual braiding hair towards the end. I just saw a few, but it is what it is. Oh. Anyway, guys, this is my hair all done. I really want to show you guys the final product, but I have to take my mom somewhere really quick. Um, this is what my hair looks like. These are the ends. I really, really love how full the ends are, and I love the curly pieces throughout. So... I love it. Anyway, this is the end of today's vlog. I will see you guys at the start of today's, tomorrow's vlog, but of today in like 30 minutes. So, bye guys.